Here I'm giving you a quick review of the lure that just came to my attention recently, even though it's 2020. I think this lure has been out for a long time. Um, I saw in YouTube videos uh, that I was dated back in December of 2017. And it was also another one that just dated in 2011. So, you know, this lure has been um, in the market for over nine years. Yeah, so it's not brand new lure. Anyway, so it's a steel blade uh, lure. And uh, it's funny that um, they claim this is the original steel shed lure. So I guess there is fake one out there. But in any way, there um, is also a competitor. Um, it could be about the same time or even before them. I uh, haven't researched the history about the other lure, the competitor lure, which is the silver body. I came upon the silver body lure uh, even uh, way before this lure and I bought it when um, it was on clearance in Walmart. It, it's a steel blade, it's uh, smaller, um, shorter, um, it has the lead at the uh, belly or the bottom part of the uh, lure. And um, they claim it's the original silver body, so I was uh, skeptical. I didn't never really use a steel blade to fish uh, at all before, so um, I just bought it because it was so cheap. It's on clearance, and anyway, so I was able to catch that, um, use that silver body to catch fish uh, in uh, Potomac River, also in uh, Berkeley, and you know, just uh, amazing. Uh, it, it was a super good uh, lure silver body steel blade so I gained confidence in that except uh, I lost that uh, lure really quickly because um, it hooked at the bottom and I didn't have the uh, hook uh, what do you call those retriever uh, back then I didn't have one so I lost that lure because it got tangled in the uh, f bottom of the lake um, the one thing I do notice uh, even from the look of it um, oh yeah, that, that silver body, I was able to catch uh, catfish at 1 p.m. right in the middle of the day and it was so hot and I was able to still catch fish. Well, back to this uh, steel uh, shed uh, lure. I want to tell you a couple of improvements of this uh, lure over silver body. It's a bigger, longer lure and the shape is uh, more it's a longer and narrower than the silver body for one for two um, the there, there are two holes here okay the original silver body only has one hole and the purpose of that is um, so that when um, like like here I'm using a quick uh, uh, connect or the uh, snap hook um, to um, hang this lure to tie this lure to the fishing line uh, using the the back hole um, so as you can imagine when I when I um, uh, tie to the second hole the back hole the when I retrieve the lure is gonna go this way so the water resistance is bigger so the lure is gonna wobble uh, a lot more than when you put this uh, quick connect uh, in the front in the front hole so when you um, have it in the front hole it's gonna dive like this and it's not gonna be wobbling as much but when you put it in the back position and you retrieve and it's gonna wobble a lot more than when you put it in the back so the the lure actually came with uh, this ring here um, and this ring is default that's tied to the uh, the back hole okay so that is the factory default as you can see here every lure I have the ring the snap ring is uh, tied to the second hole the back hole so that it gives uh, more drag and more vibration on the lure because as you can see um, you know I hang this thing uh, by the way uh, you can certainly do up and down jigging okay you don't have to retrieve you can just do up and down retrieving okay um, so when you put it in the back hole and when you pull retrieve 
the lure is just going to go forward and the nose is going to dive in and that's why it's going to create that wobbling uh, sound but if you um, get it here the front hole then it's not going to it's going to still going to die down but it's uh, probably going to be I, I thought it's going to wobble more but um, you know I haven't tried it yet I never noticed there are two well I did notice there are two holes but I didn't know um, whether I would be more successful to catch more fish if I change that ring to the front hole I'll do that test uh, later uh, next time when I get on the water but this is the factory default which is to put it on the back hole the second hole um, the other advantage of this steel shed over the original so that's the uh, first advantage which is uh, you know well second so the first is it's longer narrower than the silver body the second is it has two holes versus one hole the third advantage over silver body is this um, lure actually what is it where is it the third oh yeah you can bend bend this lure okay right about here right about here which is the third of the lure you can just use your finger um, right now I'm holding the camera otherwise that would bend it for you um, like like so and then um, about 45 degrees um, bent and then this way why bend the lure because when you bend the lure it gives more area um, to drag so when you want to um, you want the lure to slow down in the water especially when the water is shallow for the snakeheads you want to um, have this lure to swim across the water as shallow as possible when you retrieve it so if you can bend this um, I don't think the silver had a uh, lure because it's narrow, it's smaller, so you can't really bend it. That's why, you know, my suggestion is to get the three eighths of an ounce um, for the fresh water, and for the salt water, this is the largest uh, they make, which is the three quarters of an ounce um, virgin. Um, so this way you can bend it um, if you want to fish on the surface. You know, when you have a surface action uh, like stripers in the Chesapeake Bay. Or any other area um, when you have a you know I mean I, I like to bend this next time when I go to the roaches arm for gar fishing because garfish and uh, garfish likes to hang in the middle of the lake and also on the surface and and snakeheads they like to hang under the tree or you know uh, in the lily pads um, but close to the surface so you know a more successful way to because when if you don't bend it this is lure is as you can see it's actually bent it a little bit i just uh, pr i just pressed a little bit of pressure on this lure it, uh, it actually bends a little bit now but um you know the more you bent it the better uh the more you bend it you know it's, don't don't over bend it you know to 90 degrees that's too much just bend it to 45 degrees or even 30 degrees um and then and then this lure is going to become a surface lure like that see I just bent it a little bit more a little bit more so now it's like uh, 30 degrees as when you retrieve this lure it's gonna uh, it's gonna rise more to the surface than um, diving down when you use the same speed um, versus when you retrieve this lure without bending it um, so those are the three advantages of this steel shed lure over its competitor silver body and the other uh, brand I haven't come across the other brand and the reason I came across this brand is really because uh, my wife was ch uh, choosing or browsing over the internet for uh, father's gift uh, for me and she uh, stumbled across this lure and she said well you know um, why don't you buy this and you know do you, do you, do you want it? some lures and I was like I never heard of this company, but uh, let me try it. And it was very, very successful uh, at Roaches Run. I caught bass, I caught catfish, and uh, you know, just over the last uh, few weeks. So you know, definitely try it out. Um, start with the three eighths of an ounce, um, and you're gonna be able to catch catfish. So um, as you can see, uh, this lure uh, was bent. The hook is not that great. 
the uh, company's uh, hook or they, 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 they put out this hook. I mean, I had a fish where the, the hook just came out of this ring, okay? So I'll post that video so you can see I'm not lying. I'm, I'm, I'm really uh, telling you that this, this ring and this hook, the ring is not top quality. The hook is not top quality. Um, certainly it's good enough, okay? This is how it's, it looked after I hook a few catfish and, you know, it, it, the hook actually bent a little bit. So you really need to have equal, um, heavy uh, duty ones. But you know what, if you're just fishing over the weekends and, you know, not as much as I do, uh, this stock, uh, the, the company's uh, hook is good enough, okay? Um, because I really fish a lot and, you know, I abuse these lures uh, big time. Um, uh, so you can see this floor, I try to remove it out of a, 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 a catfish and then it bent it so badly. So quickly summarize this and, you know, highly recommended are the three A's of an ounce, as you can see here, three A's of an ounce. There are six uh, different colors. Um, yeah, the other thing I did notice is a minor glitch where um, this, this is just a piece of paper that's taped, glued to um, this uh, steel blade. Okay, I mean, there is no other way to do this other than paint it. Um, but the paint is going to fade off too. But anyway, so, um, you know, as you can see here, this uh, is just a piece of paper that taped onto this, uh, onto this lure. Um, onto this lure. And uh, as you can see, the eye is missing here because it peeled peel, peel up a little bit. But uh, overall, this is still a very, very effective lure. Highly recommended. So I'm um, going to try this lure because I bent it. Uh, I'm going to see if I can catch a snake at or um, some, um, well, certainly I have to replace this hook. Okay, and I think the ring is also bent a little bit and I'm going to change the ring out too because I don't want to lose another fish, big fish, um, when I hooked them because, you know, I mean, it's 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 very very uh, lucky to catch a fish and you really don't want to lose it because of your inferior um, equipment but but again if you just fish not as often as I do you know amateur or uh, just googling uh, you know you fish only on weekends you know this is the, the these are good enough okay I mean this this lure really lasted uh, quite a few catfish for me and those are really big catfish you can check out my videos um, so um, I'm going to try to put a few videos uh, in real action of these lures um, so you can see. Okay, but quickly summarize the three advantages I see uh, is the longer, narrower, longer body um, for the same weight. And the second thing is two holes on top. The third thing is you can bend this lure to give it uh, so that it dives shallower and um, so it becomes a surface lure. Um, you know, of course, uh, heavy vegetation's uh, areas, um, it can still get tangled, you know. So, you, 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 um, um, you still need to retrieve, uh, you know, accordingly, uh, according to the depth and according to the vegetation of the water. So, there you have it, steel shed, highly recommended.